everyone. Um, I've been thinking a lot about community recently and how this pandemic that's forced us all to stay apart has, in another breath, actually brought us a lot closer together. Um, in terms of my immediate community, my immediate family, I'm ringing my dad every day. He's 71. He lives down in Kent, so he's about two hours away from me um, and he's on his own. So <clears throat> for him, um, it's, yeah, we, we're probably having more contact than we would have done normally. Um, but even community in the sense of my neighbours and our cul-de-sac, um, ever since the clap for the NHS has been going on um, and for carers, it's actually something we all really look forward to because seeing other people, um, no offence to the three people that I live with, but seeing other people it, sort of being united in this fight, I guess, um, is somehow comforting. And since all this has been going on, we've actually set up a WhatsApp group with our neighbours. There's about 10 of us on there now. And once a week, we all meet outside for drinks, obviously at a socially acceptable uh, distance. But it's really nice. We didn't do that before. You know, I perhaps spoke to my immediate neighbours, my, my, literally my next door neighbours, but I didn't really know the names of anyone else in our in our cul-de-sac. And now we do. And we all look out for each other. And that's really nice. The, the village that we live in as a whole, you know, has really come together. You can see it through the things that people are posting on Facebook pages, you know, the rainbows that are appearing. You know, we will go on a rainbow hunt once a day. We'll scoot up and down our around our block and the boys will count how many rainbows are in windows. So it it is ironic how we've actually gained this sense of community and togetherness um, during a time when we're actually supposed to be further apart. Um, so it would be really nice to hear how things have changed in your community, be that your immediate family or the area that you live in. Um, and apart from that, I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope you're all well and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi everybody, uh, day 61, welcome to the uh, COVID Diaries. Um, so today, um, I want to thank everybody who reached out to me yesterday. Um, uh, apparently I came across a little uh, stressed out yesterday on the, on the COVID diary um, with the uh, amount of uh, work I had on my plate and my inbox and all that kind of stuff, my to-do list. Um, so I just wanted to report back that uh, I got on quite well yesterday, I managed to respond to, to about 80 of the emails that are in my um, inbox, so my inbox has gone down quite a bit. Um, I've crossed out quite a lot of things on my to-do list as well, which has been hugely positive. And it's just really nice getting all the, um, the messages of support from uh, from people who uh, who saw me yesterday and, and saw that I was uh, struggling a little bit, which is good. Um, I think one of the things that's really interesting that came out of yesterday, and uh, 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 Martine, I'm going to respond to your comment from, uh, from yesterday's uh, video. Um, I thought it was really interesting that you said that you are often in double figures for the number of uh, video meetings in a week. And that kind of made me really sort of reflect because <clears throat> I'm often in double figures for the day. Uh, and I didn't want to respond last night with a, oh yeah, look, look, I'm much busier than you. But it has made me think, what am I doing things wrong here? If I am in double figures for the day, every single day for the number of video meetings that I'm having, then I'm definitely going to reflect on um, on what I should be doing um, and whether that's right or wrong. Um, so for, for everybody who reached out yesterday to um, offer their support, thank you so much for that. It was really appreciated. Um, and for everybody who's uh, watching today's COVID diary, um, it'll be really interesting just to sort of understand the level of, uh, of video meetings that you're having in a day or in a week. Um, are you in a similar position to to Martine, where you know, you're you're often reaching double figures for a week, or are you um, having significantly more than that, or are you having significantly less? I think it would be really interesting just for for all of us to really understand um, um, the level of meetings that, that we're having, so we can see um, where those anomalies are, which one of us is uh, standing out of uh, doing it right or doing it wrong. So I um, would appreciate your thoughts on that one. Thank you, and. Um, speak to you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Cheers.